Hey, Randy Mason here. Wrapping up a What's Your KCQ, we started back in 2020. Yep, that's me, lurking around 91st and Metcalf, where the Glenwood Theater used to do big box office. The Glenwood was a space-age showplace for Dickinson and theaters back when Johnson County was really starting to boom. Lots of people saw Star Wars for the first time in its 800-seat auditorium. But as multiplexes took root, the Glenwood couldn't keep up, and it bit the dust in 2000. We know that the iconic sign and lots of the plush red seats went to the Glenwood Arts Theater, now in Leewood. But Lewis Jones asked us, what became of the giant chandelier in the lobby? Well, we found the guy who actually took it apart. He thought it was headed for the Church of the Resurrection. <laughs> no. Someone else suggested Jerry Johnson's ill-fated First Family Church, now owned by the Blue Valley School District. <laughs> Nick's on that one, too. Goodrich Theaters in Michigan, which owned the Glenwood at the end. The Wichita Company that handled the auction. Film buff Wade Williams. All were contacted and all said, <laughs> don't know. We had a classic who done it, but no gotcha. And then, who should come to the rescue but Facebook? Late last year, the new Glenwood Antique Mall right across 91st Street took to social media to announce that they now had the chandelier. Not many details, except that it was purchased from a private owner who'd had it in storage, and they were bringing it home to display right there in the mall. It took us a while, but Kirsten Rowland, the chandelier's new owner, did finally open the secret door behind which I can attest the deconstructed mid-century masterpiece does indeed sit in well-labeled boxes with a diagram. So like here are the arms. Think 2022, she says. The old TJ Maxx is gonna need some serious shoring up to handle this bad boy. It's a lot bigger than I thought or that I remember. It's about 15 by 15 and our ceilings are 14 feet, so we've got to figure out where it's gonna go. But we wanna make sure we got it and preserved it instead of having it go out of state or go out of town um, and keep it here in Open Park. For the Kansas City Star and the Kansas City Public Library, I'm Randy Mason asking, what's your KCQ?